Hello and welcome to The All Flyers. In a recent video about the Sukhoi 57 Philon, I mentioned that this aircraft could perform post-stall manoeuvres like the Pugachev's Cobra. I wondered how many other aircraft were capable of this manoeuvre. The Pugachev's Cobra, also known as the Cobra Manoeuvre, or simply the Cobra, is a dramatic and demanding aerodynamic manoeuvre in which an aeroplane suddenly raises its nose to a very high angle of attack before dropping it back to level flight or whilst maintaining a roughly constant altitude and heading. It looks like a fighter jet briefly mimicking the threatening hood of a cobra. It begins with the aircraft pitching up violently, reaching angles between 90 and 120 degrees. At this point, the plane is flying tail first relative to its original direction. The maneuver is performed typically between 300 and 420 kilometers per hour. The aircraft loses a significant amount of speed during the pitch up as it acts like a gigantic air brake. The Cobra cannot be sustained as it is a dynamic transient maneuver. The aircraft does not hold a high angle of attack position, but instead falls through it, returning to level flight. It is only possible with aircraft that have specific design features, primarily thrust vectoring and relaxed static stability. The manoeuvre was first demonstrated publicly by Soviet test pilot Viktor Pugachev at the 1989 Le Bourget Air Show in Paris. He performed it in the Sukhoi 27 flanker, a highly agile air superiority fighter. Pugachev's public demonstration earned him the naming rights. The Cobra isn't just pulling back hard on the stick, it is a carefully controlled maneuver that exploits specific aircraft capabilities. Most aircraft are designed to be nose heavy and naturally return to level flight if you let go of the controls. This is positive stability. Fighter jets like the Sukhoi 27 are designed with relaxed or negative stability, meaning they are naturally unstable. This makes them more agile, but requires a computer, fly-by-wire, to constantly make corrections. This instability is what allows the nose to be pitched up so violently and quickly. While the original Sukhoi 27 could perform it without thrust vectoring, modern versions like the Sukhoi 30 MKI, Sukhoi 35S and the F-22 Raptor use thrust vectoring, the ability to point the engine nozzle up or down to initiate and control the maneuver more effectively and recover from it more reliably. The pilot rapidly pulls the stick fully aft, pitching the nose up. At the peak of the maneuver, the aircraft is almost stalled. The pilot then pushes the stick forward and uses thrust vectoring, if available, to lower the nose back to the horizon before the aircraft loses too much altitude or enters an actual stall. Some think that the Cobra is a dogfight tactic. The answer is nuanced. The primary tactical use of the Cobra is as a defensive maneuver. If an enemy aircraft is locked onto your tail in a six o'clock position, performing a Cobra causes a massive rapid deceleration. The enemy aircraft will be forced to overshoot you flying right past and potentially putting you in a position to target them instead. It is a high risk, high reward move to reverse roles in a dogfight. It is not a common or primary dogfighting maneuver. It bleeds off a tremendous amount of kinetic energy, leaving the aircraft vulnerable and slow if there are other enemies in the area. In modern combat, dominated by beyond visual range, BVR, missiles, getting this close is rare. Its value is more in demonstrating the extreme agility and controllability of the aircraft at very high angles of attack 
which can be useful in other less extreme combat situations. Aircraft capable of the manoeuvre include the Sukhoi Su-27 flanker, the original, Sukhoi Su-30, variants MKI, MKM, MKA, Sukhoi Su-35S, Sukhoi Su-57 Philon, Mikoyan MiG-29 DVT with thrust vectoring, Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor, and Saab JAS-39 Gripen, a modified, less extreme version. In summary, Pugachev's Cobra is a spectacular airshow manoeuvre that demonstrates the peak of aerodynamic agility and flight control technology with a niche application as a defensive dogfighting tactic. Thank you for watching. If you like this content, please show your support.